Hey guys, it's SoCal Val here for Fight TV with another exclusive interview about Cage Fighter. We are gearing up for the premiere on May 16th. And joining me now is no stranger to Fight TV. All you guys know him, all you guys love him. It is Christian, AKA Jay Riso. How you doing, Jay? Good, Val. How are you? Good to see you. I'm good. So first question, how are you handling lockdown? I see you're home like the rest of us, just powering through, huh? Yeah, just trying to get through it. I mean, the reason why I'm wearing a hat is because I'm in dire need of a haircut. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, so other than that, um, yeah, just like everybody else, you know, just, um, you know, trying to do, uh, to stay in and hopefully, um, you know, uh, people can get back to, um, to some sort of a regular life at some point here. Exactly. And I think it's, it's, a great time for everyone, all of our fight fans, to be uh, getting onto the Fight TV app. And of course, on fight.tv, we have combat sports, MMA, wrestling. But with Cage Fighter, we have the premiere of the movie on May 16th. And it's actually the worlds of pro wrestling and MMA colliding. So it could not be more perfect for our fan base here at Fight TV. But can you give us a bit of a synopsis of Cage Fighter, what it's about? And I know our fans are so excited to see it. Yeah, well, like you said, it's it's pretty unique uh, situation with um, you know the that that we're in right now, um, with not a lot of live events taking place. It, it makes perfect sense for uh, for this movie to to have the opportunity to be on on Fight TV and uh, for have the the you know fans of both MMA and wrestling. Uh, you don't even have to be a fan of MMA and wrestling to, to enjoy this movie. It's just a good movie. So, but it's a it's a unique opportunity to to, to be able to do this and with fight tv is, is pretty exciting um but yeah it's it's basically a story that's kind of relevant to what's going on these days i mean over the last few years we've seen a lot of pro wrestlers you know make the the transition into to mma uh we've seen it with brock lesnar uh with guy with bobby lashley with cm punk obviously and um you know more recently with jake hager so um you know it, it's a story based on that it's, it's very relevant to what we're seeing these days and and um um, it's also a story of redemption, and um, there, there's uh, there's all kinds of, of, of neat twists and um, layers to this movie that I think that, that goes beyond fighting or or wrestling. So I think it's it's uh, got a little something for everyone in it. Definitely. No, we know your career, your illustrious career in pro wrestling. Uh, but I have to ask: Were you an MMA fan? Is it something that you watch? What are your thoughts on the sport? Yeah, I am. Uh, I do enjoy MMA. I'm, I like combat sports in general. Um, I'm a boxing fan as well. Um, but, um, you know, with, with boxing, you know, there's, there's always a lot of politics that seem to go on. And what I like about MMA is the, the best always seem to fight the best. So that, to me, that's exciting. So um, I am a fan. And it was, it was very cool to um, be on a project list with a with legend like Chuck Liddell. Um, and also with a, a former world champion in, in Luke Rockhold, you know, I'd get to, to talk to those guys. And, and uh, you know, it's, it's funny. I always felt, I always kind of say that wrestling and MMA are, are on the same tree. They're just different branches. You know, at the end of the day, it's, it's entertainment is what it is. But, to, you know, hear the stories, you know, talking about, you know, you know especially the, the beginning of, 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 of kind of building up to, to getting to, to, you know, obviously they're fighting the UFC, which is the biggest uh, promotion in the world, but like all the trials and tribulations to get there is very much what a, um, you know, an independent wrestler would try to kind of climb to get to, to, to get to these bigger organizations. So um, it was, it's just interesting to have those conversations with those guys. Awesome. Well, I have to ask a two-parter question here. What made you want to transition into the acting side of things? And do you think that wrestling, you know, promos and things like that and, and being kind of a theatrical character as so many of us are in wrestling, do you think that kind of helped you out in the acting scene? Yeah, for sure. I, I think it was just like when I retired, it's just, you know, kind of what's the next challenge. Mm -hmm. And, and um, you know, you're, you're always looking to have a creative outlet as well. You know, when, when you're out there and you're, you're wrestling in front of a live audience or you're doing a promo or a backstage vignette, whatever it is you're, you're creating, you know, you're, you're and you have to find some sort of outlet, some sort of purpose when you're done. And to me, I just wanted to challenge myself. And, and, and you know, it, it is a pretty, uh, you know, I always, always felt like, like, like WWE specifically is, is entertainment boot camp. You know, it, it's, everything's live. There's no net. Um, so it kind of prepares you to, to move on and do other things in entertainment. And um, 
you know, I was, you know, you portray a character when you're on, when you're on television, you know, I played the character of Christian. It's, it's just a, you know, it, it seems like a natural extension to kind of move over into acting. And, you know, it's exciting to, to, to try new things. And like I said, you know, when, for wrestling, as long as I had, had been wrestling, you know, I felt like I was, you know, I could, I could go out and have a great match with anyone. That was just the, my mindset. And, um, it became like a second nature that I mean, of course there's always challenges and things like that, but, um, you know, kind of stepping and dipping your toes into something that you're not necessarily as seasoned in, in as, as that. And the, the chance of, of, I always like kept, try to go after things that scare me or that, that I, that I very, um, realistically could fail at. So it was, um, that was part of it as well you know, seeing if I could actually do it. And, um, you know, obviously getting a chance to work with people that are better than you, that are, that are actually, you know, real actors that have been, you know, doing this for a long time, applying their trade and working hard and getting to, um, to pick their brains and work with them and working with people that are better than you makes you better in turn. And that's just kind of how I try to go about it. Yeah. I was going to ask actually about the cast because it is a really strong cast. I personally was a big Gina Gershon fan. When I saw that she was in the film, I was excited. Um, what was the cast like? I mean, did you know anyone before you went into the film? No. Uh, I, well, obviously I knew John, but um, the uh, I had never met any of the other, the cast before, but they were all great. Everybody seemed to, to get along. I wasn't there for, for a super long time shooting. I was only there for about four days. Um, so I was kind of in and out pretty quick, but um, it was just a tight ship, you know, everybody was, was enjoying it and, and got along well. And, uh, yeah, you know, I got to do some scenes with, with Gina Gershon. So that was a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, I mean, from what I understood, it was, you know, yeah, everybody, everybody had a great time doing this movie. Awesome. I was excited to talk to Jesse, uh, the director, and he was explaining Gina's role in the film and how there's a lot of female badassery that takes place. So I think that's going to resonate with the female fans. Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. And, and, um, yeah, I mean, it's, I think it was a pretty cool thing to have, uh, her, you know, you'll see it in the movie, but kind of be the, the, um, you know, run this, this huge MMA company and, and just kind of, you know, have this, uh, this toughness about her, you know, I really, uh, um, yeah, I think people are going to, that's going to resonate with a lot of people. I think that, that it's, uh, they're going to enjoy it. Cool. Now I have to ask, how did you get the role of Stephen Drake? How did getting the role of Stephen Drake come about? And are we going to like the guy? Are we going to hate the guy? I mean, I've, I've seen you uh, be a good guy and bad guy in wrestling, so I don't know what to expect here. Yeah, so um, what happened was is uh, I had done an independent movie a couple of years ago uh, in Regina, Saskatchewan, where we, in Canada, where we, we shot this, this movie as well, um, called Super Grid. And uh, one of the producers on there, a guy named Hugh Patterson, was friends with uh, Shane Putzlocker, who's a producer on, on this movie as well. And um, he was talking to him about the project and knew that there was wrestling aspects in it. And he was like, oh, you got to talk to Jay about this. So they sent me the script and I, and I looked it over and made a few suggestions on the, on the wrestling side of it. And, um, you know, they asked me to come on as an executive producer. And, and so and they're also like, hey, you know, we really want you to have a, 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 piv a, a pivotal role in this movie, you know, it's a small part, but it's pretty pivotal and, um, you know, kind of, it's, it was a fun character to play. Kind of, uh, you know, the guy that's, that's um, trying to get the scoop, that's trying to stay ahead of the curve, um, to trying to get the breaking news, you know. Um, he, he has the biggest uh, MMA um, podcast uh, that there is. And he's always, like I said, trying to, trying to get the scoop and trying to, to, to break news before anybody else does it. Very cool. Very cool. Well, I have to ask, you know, a lot of our uh, Fight TV fans are aspiring MMA guys, aspiring wrestlers, aspiring actors. Um, I'm sure you get a lot of questions uh, that are similar to this on Twitter, but would you have any advice for someone that's kind of trying to do the same career path as you one day? Yeah, I mean, you know, it just, it's, it, it, you're going to hear no a lot, you know, you, you, just, you have to have a thick, you have to have thick skin. And, um, you know, very rarely does, does anything fall on anybody's lap overnight. So you have to, to put, you know, you have to be prepared to put the work in, you know, if it's something that you, you want to do for me personally, I never had a backup plan. And I always felt like that would kind of keep me going. Like if I didn't have anything to fall back on, then there was only one choice and that was to, to get to where I wanted to go. There was no easy way out. So, um, 
you know, if you're committed to it and you love it, be prepared to hear, to hear no a lot, but um, use it to fuel you, not uh, to uh, deter you. Now, I, whenever you say no easy way out, I think of Rocky, which is very apropos at Rocky IV soundtrack. <laughs> Perfect. Well, I have to ask, there is a roundtable discussion directly after the film that I know everyone's excited about because it's one thing to watch the film, but to sort of get a creative outlook and to see how it all came about is going to be exciting for our fans. Uh, what can they expect from the, the roundtable Q&A? Yeah, I think just all, you see all the, all the personalities kind of, um, you know, answering questions and talking about their, you know, their, um, their experience on the movie and, um, you know, talking about you know we're all going to kind of view it at the same time so that'll be exciting as well because none of us have seen it yet either so uh that'll be exciting yay yeah i'm excited may 16th guys just so you know uh you need to check the fight tv app or of course go to fight.tv uh because you're going to want to watch this more than once it's a 24-hour rental and you can check the website and the app for pricing and start times in your country but jay another question for me i i have to ask now a lot of our fight fans have been uh discussing the, the film on social media and some people are claiming that you know the worlds of mma and wrestling that the the fighters and the wrestlers might not get along, that it, it might not be camaraderie on the set. Um, is that something that you want to address? I mean, as far as do the wrestlers and the fighters sort of get along? Is there a little bit of rivalry of there? No, it was, it was, it was almost like, a, um, you know, telling each other the, their, their, their kind of war stories, you know? So yeah. it, was, it, was, it was, I think there was a real mutual respect there and uh, everybody got along great. Awesome. Well, any final words to your fans as we gear up for the premiere on May 16th? We're all so excited to see it. And I think it's cool, like you said, that you guys haven't seen it yet either. So it's going to be a, a yeah. good effort. Yeah, no, we're uh, obviously, you know, um, excited for, for it to, to stream May 16th on, uh, on Fight TV. And, you know, just appreciate the support. And, uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing all the peeps check out the movie. Yes, the peeps will be there. I'll be there as well. May 16th, can't wait to tune in to Cage Fighter Worlds Collide. We have a special look at the trailer. Here it is. Don't miss Cage Fighter Worlds Collide, live on Fight TV, May 16th, for one day only. This is a 24-hour rental that you don't want to miss. It's available worldwide, excluding the U.S. and Caribbean. For pricing and start times in your country, visit fight.tv or the Fight TV app. And now, here's the official trailer for Cage Fighter Worlds Collide. The legend's cage is reserved for the very best fighters on the planet, and Reese Gibbons is the best of the best. The five-time champion has faced all challenges and cleared out his division, but his sixth title defense presents a new challenge. Wrestling champion, Randy Stone. For a world champion, I don't think he's ever been hit by a guy like me. It's gonna be like getting hit by a truck. Randy is an opponent. He's a clown. Randy is the most divisive figure to ever step foot in the legend's cage, splitting the world of MMA and professional wrestling right down the middle. Live from London, England! Are you ready for a new legend? All eyes will be on this fight. And one thing is for sure, the world of professional wrestling and the world of MMA will collide.